Hey, it's Ethan from Happy Mag, and today we'll be looking at the STS 500 Series EQ unit from Samata. Samata are a pretty new company out of Maryland, USA, run by producer Gabe Karlick, and the STS is their first piece so far. The STS is a high and low shelf equalizer unit with a frequency tilt feature. Now, frequency tilt wasn't really something I was aware of until a few years ago, so let's take a quick look at that concept. Tilt is a really interesting EQ method, which kind of does what it says. Say you adjust the tilt with a specific center frequency in mind to increase the top end in a recording. It will equally reduce low end simultaneously, and if you boost the low end, it'll drop the high end equally. It's a nice smooth way to make subtle tone adjustments in a pretty phase linear way. Here's a little video of how it happens on the FabFilter Pro-Q3 plugin. As far as I know, the concept was originally used in 70s hi-fi preamps like the Quad 34 and languished in the world of audiophiles until 30-something years later when Paul Wolf of Tone Lux resurrected the idea and put it on studio equipment. Of course, I may be totally wrong about this history, please feel free to chime in in the comments. Anyways, Sound Matter has made this concept the centerpiece of the STS equalizer, which I'm going to assume is called the STS because it's a shelf, tilt, and a shelf. And how does it sound? It sounds great. It's a lovely unit with only a few options, making it perfect for broad stroke sound shaping. It's for the Panasonic capacitors, the pots are proper quality ones, which are getting rare in audio equipment I review these days, and I reckon the knobs themselves are custom made too. I'm also loving the handles at the top and bottom to make it easier to remove 500 series units from their enclosure. And they also protect the unit too. Overall, a really good design. So, how do the frequency bands sit? Up top, we've got our high shelf with selectable frequencies of 1K, 2.5K, and 5K with up to 10 dB boost or cut and a switch to take it in and out with an LED. Below this, we've got our tilt, with a center frequency selectable from 750Hz or 2.5K. The tilt fade also has a nice big detent in the middle of the track, just like the pots do too. And down the bottom, we've got our low shelf with selectable frequencies of 100, 500 and 750Hz, again with a 10 dB boost or cut and a switch to put it in or out. You'll notice when using it that the frequencies interact with each other too, so you can boost and cut simultaneously and get some interesting frequency curves happening. Now, hear what this thing can do. I'm a, a lost And there we have it, the Soundmata STS EQ, two shelves and a tilt on a high quality 500 series unit. If you're not familiar with Tilt EQ, it can sometimes be the perfect setting for adjusting your source to perfection. It's also really nice to use a quality built piece. This thing is strong and solid. In a world where I've started to notice a lot of manufacturers cut corners on pots, knobs, and build quality, it's fantastic to have a piece on the market that I reckon I could throw down the stairs and it'll still function completely fine. The STS retails for 249 US dollars, comes with a one year warranty, and is available directly from the company. Thanks for watching. 